this? So Scary. Okay. My colleague couldn't make it. She had other plans. So. What got, happened to her? I don't know. Yeah. She just. Yeah. We don't talk about it. Okay. Um. So we have some questions that we made up, or we asked some fellow teens and leaders. Okay. We'd like you to answer them. Oh, great. We're gonna start with the speed round. So I'm gonna say one thing or the other, and you're gonna say you're gonna answer, but like fast. Okay. Do I get like a practice? No. No? no. It's like Okay, this one the first one's easy, so you just answer it's this or that questions. Okay. So pancakes or waffles? Mmm, waffles. Day or night? Night. Summer or winter? Winter. Truck or motorcycle? Mm, truck. Paper or plastic? Paper. Singing or dancing? Singing. Superman or Batman? Oh, Batman. All witches or wizard, wizards? Uh, witches, definitely. Pandas or whales? Pan yeah, pandas. Circles or squares? Uh, circles. Bananas or apples? Apples, all day long. Pasta or pizza? Pizza, all day long. Is that even a... Yeah. Scooby-Doo or Tom and Jerry? Mm, Tom and Jerry. Okay. So, oh, so that is all of the speed round. So now we're going to go into questions that the fellow teens and leaders have asked. Oh, God. <clears throat> I, I, don't, I feel very unprepared for this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. Cole asked, did you cry when you got your tattoos like the little baby you are? No. Okay. And Cole can go fall in a hole and never return. Mandy would like to know how much time you actually spend gelling your hair. Um, probably 30 seconds or less. Lorna wants to know, what would you do without the gel? Um, just wear a hat. It's and how much, weird. also from Lorna, how much does the average hippo weigh? Average hippo? I'm going to go with uh, 1,200 pounds. Liv wants to know, what do, what do you say to yourself in the mirror every morning? Um, don't screw this up. <laughs> Kimberly Pounds also wants to know, on average, how long do you admire yourself in the mirror every day? Oh, over 30 seconds, definitely. Somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute, because you don't want to get cocky. Right, right. You know, yeah. Too much is just too much. Yeah. Tabitha, or JB asked, do you have a pet emu? I don't. Should if I? not, please provide details. On, um, well, I have like two dogs that are like the size of horses, so I feel like that's enough. Why would you not have a pet emu other than the dogs? Um, aren't they like endangered or something? I don't think so. They're not? Is that know. legal? Can you own one of those? I think so. I did see a peacock the other day. Like just running around on the side of the road. Our neighbor has one. Does he? Mm -hmm. Yes. He's an albino. So I've been looking to get one of those. Okay. JB would love to see it. Okay. Tapitha wants to know what makes you feel like a strong, independent woman. I mean, a man. <laughs> <laughs> That's how she typed it. Strong, independent man. Um, I guess that I have a family that loves me and a wife that supports me no matter what. And even when I act like an idiot and make stupid decisions, I know that I have at least those three people that have my back. Nice. Brian wants to know, who is your favorite Disney princess? Mm, man, you know, that's tough because for the longest time it was definitely Belle. Like, Belle's got it going on, but... Um, I don't know, the Moana thing. She's got it going on too. I'm gonna go with Belle. She's just classic, you know? Okay. I like Belle. Was there any childhood movie that's not a scary movie but scared you? Um, I mean, some people would say that The Sixth Sense wasn't scary to them, but that, like, that jacked me up, man. I saw that way too young. My parents did not do well with that. Okay, what do you think of Garden Gnomes? Garden gnomes. Uh, I'm a fan, you know. I, I think they're cool looking, uh, especially if they like 
you know, actually come to life like the movies would suggest, I would, I'd be pro that. Okay. We could. If you were a tree, what kind would you be? Um, redwood. Why? I don't know. It just sounds cool. Okay. <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you had a music album, what would you name it? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, and what kind of music would it be? We've talked about this. Me and Tina have talked about this because everybody knows that I love metal. And that's probably what I would do. But I would like to do like a metal album, but then have like an acoustic album because I also really enjoy that. So uh, the metal album would probably be, it'd probably be some awesome name like, I don't know. It, I don't know. It'd be cool. It'd be awesome. Okay. Um, but yeah. Can you spell spaghetti? Or do I need to use it in a sentence? Yes, please. Please, <laughs> please use spaghetti in a sentence. Tonight for dinner, me and my family are having spaghetti with garlic bread. Oh, okay. Um, S-P-A-G-H-E-T-T-I? Is that right? You're correct. Oh, so can nervous. you spell vacuum? Vacuum. Can you use it in a sentence? I use the vacuum to vacuum the floor. <laughs> okay. Um, v A C. Is it two C's or two U's? It's for you to decide. Mm, I'm gonna go V A C C U M. You're correct. Oh Wait, man, I'm. You're wrong. Oh, dang it. Sorry. <laughs> it's two U's. That's what I said. Yeah. Original. I'll, I'll flip yeah. it back to where you say two U's. Go V A C C U M. Yeah. Can you spell super califragilistic Nope, not a chance. What can you spell hippopotamus? Uh, sure. H I P P O. Okay. Why, why spell hippopotamus when you need to spell hippo? You're right. Last question is from Joel. If all three of your family members are hanging off a cliff and you can only save one, who are you going to save? You don't have to answer. We can just cut it there and just have everyone wondering. Unless you want to answer it. Who all is going to see this? Well, that concludes our interview. Did I get the job? Um, I think you should stay as youth pastor, so oh. I think you don't need this job because oh. this isn't a workplace. So I, no, I didn't, oh. no. Yeah, I definitely stay with you, youth pastor. Oh. And my colleague will be here for round two. Oh, there's two rounds? Maybe. Okay. We haven't talked about that yet. Okay. <laughs> but if there is, my colleague will be back. Okay. So thank Sounds you for good. coming. Would you like to say anything to the folks at home? Um, don't screw this up. Okay. Aaron Larimore, everyone. <laughs>